I'm Cara Robinson and this is GW News from Glen Eagles. Just behind me is the official hotel where both teams are staying. All 24 players have now arrived and we're just three days away from the start of the 2014 Ryder Cup. Both captains addressed the media yesterday and European leader Paul McGinley said his team have a tough task on their hands if they're to retain the trophy, despite many people thinking they're favourites. We have been favourites before in Ryder Cups. It's not like this is the first time ever. Um, and uh, I think our players have deserved it. Um, and uh, I think it's a situation, if we are going to be favourites, to embrace it. It's not something to be afraid of or be ashamed of. The guys have worked very hard to be in the position they are. Um, but having said that, I mean, I, I did a little bit of a calculation myself when the, when the two teams were formulated um, and, and Tom's team, his average ranked in position was 16 and ours was 18. So this is not a weak American team and uh, you know we might be slight favourites with the bookies but you know if you, the two teams are very well balanced and very close together so we know that uh, it's going to be a very tough contest ahead of us. McGinley has a team full of talent and he'll now be finalising his pairings ahead of Friday's action with one of the key decisions being whether or not to play Rory McIlroy alongside Graham McDowell once again. Well, I don't know. I mean, as I say, I mean, I've got lots of options with them, but if I don't decide to play them, uh, it will be for tactical reasons. It won't be for any other reasons. Um, they've played six Ryder Cup matches. They've only won two together. So, you know, there's, it's not like these, these guys are written in stone. They're not a, uh, you know, they're not a, a formidable force, not, not a formidable force or four ball pairing that's unbeatable. Um, having said that, there's no reason why they wouldn't play together. Um, I know they've been pairs. When I was captain of the Sevi Trophy, I had them paired together and they played very well in that. Um, so I've got lots of options with them, um, but it doesn't have to be that they have to be together. And despite their tag as underdogs, US skipper Tom Watson believes it's their time to make up for their misery at Medina two years ago. I made it very clear to them and this, is, uh, this, this trip is a redemption trip. That uh, those players who played in that team, many of them are, are on this team, uh, it's time to uh, uh, make amends. It's try to redeem yourselves from what happened in 2012. And I think it's a motivation rather than a negative. Well, that's all for today, but I'll be back tomorrow as we continue to build up to the start of this year's Ryder Cup on Friday. In the meantime, you can find us online at golfingworld.tv and we're also on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Bye for now.